Welcome back. We're in the kitchen with high B dietitian Katie George. This looks perfect for breakfast. It is perfect for breakfast. And you know what? My kids today, they have um, state testing for school. And they were a little nervous. And every time the principal sends a message, she's like, make sure you give your kids a good breakfast. And yeah. a good breakfast is something that is going to have some protein in it, some good fiber, and not like just a sugary donut. So mm -hmm. I am going to showcase a recipe today that would work perfect for children, it works perfect for adults, and really just talking about products. Um, I'm not mixing this up today because um, I really just want to focus a little bit on some products. Okay. So the base of our, we're making make ahead breakfast muffins. And so, who has time in the morning? I think I've talked to more people about this recently, just with school starting back up. Nobody has time in the morning to make breakfast, and so anything you can do ahead of time, it is great. Yes. So I am going to showcase the Kodiak. Um, this is the flapjack and waffle mix, but we're using it as a base for muffins. Okay. So if you are not, are you familiar with Kodiak? I think you've used it before. I have used it before. I am a Kodiak fan. <laughs> Kodiak cakes. Um, it was a sh on Shark Tank. If you are, if you ever wa watch Shark Tank, um, this is a product that is just higher in protein higher in fiber, which is just gonna help children and adults stay fuller longer throughout the morning. So I think the worst thing is those 10 a.m. hunger. Mm -hmm. um, so we are going to be using the um, flapjack um, mix. We are also going to be using Fairlife Milk. Fairlife Milk, ultra filtered. We are gonna use the fat-free version um, simply because we are adding some fat to the muffins with some oil. Um, and this is just more protein, a little bit less sugar also lactose free so okay. everybody who has any of those belly issues so with this it is essentially um, about two and a half cups of our dry pancake mix we're just gonna throw it in a bowl we're gonna add two eggs um, the more protein that you add to this it just helps again helps you feel fuller longer we are gonna add a little bit of sugar um, to a half a cup of milk and then a fourth of a cup of oil if you are like I would really want to cut the calories down. Mm -hmm. You could take the oil and use applesauce. And so it just oh, kind okay. of makes this more as a flavor of apple. So you could do that one to one. So instead of a fourth of a cup of oil, you can use a fourth of a cup of applesauce. And then desired toppings as you want. Yeah. So here, I mean, fun sprinkles. What the heck? Why not? <laughs> you could add just a little bit of chocolate chips. If you want to use some fresh berries, raspberries, blueberries, or blackberries, that would work as well. And I like to make these in mini muffin form simply because then um, you can also just add in maybe a cheese stick or a hard boiled egg or something like that, um, just along with breakfast. But, um, you know, some of the store bought muffins are just really, really high in, in sugar. And this is just going to be a little bit of a better, more satisfying breakfast for those kiddos specifically on test day like today yeah exactly and you just sprinkle those in right Spr before yep. it cooks yep and you're gonna cook this at 400 degrees and then depending on if you make the mini muffins or the larger size muffins uh, the time is gonna change just a little bit but just watch them um, usually about 10 to, 10 to 12 minutes and um, it just works out really great. You can make a bunch of these and yeah. freeze them and just pull them out when you need them. Awesome. All right. Thanks so much, Kate. Yes. That recipe will be on our website, Nebraska.tv. We'll be right back.